So I remember when I was first a freshman, I was a little concerned. I felt lost, like out of place. You feel like, oh, everything is like so much different than middle school. Because in middle school, you feel like, you feel like everyone is like more together. Then in high school, you come and it's like all these people you don't even know. You're just like so tiny and there's huge people and like teachers everywhere. So yeah, I just felt a little lost. But then it changes as you go up in grades and everything. I was thinking that like the school was like big and I was never going to get to like know around the building or anything at all. And then I came to the conclusion now that it's not as bad as it really seems. And like I was scared of the teachers because everything's so much different. You have so many classes and yeah, it just gets to be overwhelming. So being a freshman was kind of scary. I was very intimidated by the older people because they were so tall and I just felt very short and it was just different. It was out of my comfort zone. It was a big transition from middle school and I mean you kind of just get used to it. You just got to get involved. Um, join sports because it helps and meet new people. Well I kind of had like I was nervous but I feel like I had to step off on some people because I came here for classes in eighth grade so I kind of knew my way around a little more but it was I was still definitely really nervous to get started but you shouldn't be nervous because it's so fun. I mean, you get more freedom here. You make so many more new friends. It's, it's awesome. Well, going into my freshman year, I heard a lot about how difficult it was going to be and like how stressful that high school was going to be. It's really not. It's easy for the most part. I mean, everybody has their strengths and weaknesses, but really, it's overall, it's not difficult at all. As long as you ask questions and actually talk to people, like learning where the, your classes are, it gets, it's easy. One of my biggest challenges in high school, I feel like getting involved in like in the community, like people, like not much making friends because I don't think, I don't think about it, making friends, but it's more like getting involved, like staying after school to do stuff. I just felt like really, I don't know, like not insecure, but like a little scared, like to just do all the stuff that people were doing. But I feel like when you overcome that, it's like really good that you do stuff in the school, like getting involved and, and all these things are really fun. It's scary at the beginning, but when you you like let yourself out there, you enjoy a lot. Just studying for homework and keeping up with like my grades and definitely and then also sports and stuff. It just felt at times like it was a lot. I had to learn how to balance my schedule with everything going on, but it turned out to be okay. My greatest, like, biggest challenge, I guess, was transitioning from freshman to sophomore year. Because once you get to sophomore year, you get more testing, and it's just different, and you have to realize that, oh, I'm not the freshman. Like, there's people, like, under me, you know? And you just start, like, advancing more but there's just more testing but it's not that bad I'd say the biggest like change is junior year and that's when you realize you really have to start studying and making time for like yourself I'd say the transition to, from going to like you're staying with mostly your grade to going into like everyone like four grades like for lunch you don't you don't know like that first day of lunch you don't really know who you're gonna have lunch with so that's kind of stressful. I think that one was a big challenge because at least at first until you start making those new friends from other grades. Algebra 2 <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, yeah, it's rough if you're not good at math, but I mean, same thing. Everybody has things they're good at and bad at, so that could be. half was tough. I had a good teacher too, and it was still hard. Oh, something that's really important is like never let your GPA like no don't forget about it. Oh, you always have to be on top of your classes and GPA, especially because if you don't, it's gonna come back to you. It's like, really gonna come back to you. And I don't know, if, I don't think Frenchmen are taking the S, um, not the SAT, the um, what's your I step? I don't think they're taking the I step anymore, right? Yeah, I mean, the, just study for the SAT because the SAT is really important. And I'm pretty sure that yeah, colleges look at sports, uh, SATs, like all the other things you do if you're in clubs and stuff like that. So all of that is really important. 
I regret not joining sports or clubs. There's something I didn't do that much, but I still have time. I'm not done yet. <laughs> um, just to believe in myself. I went freshman year not knowing what to do at all. Like I didn't know what I wanted to do after high school, but you just gotta follow what your heart wants and you gotta do whatever you like. That you gotta do what makes you happy. That's what I learned. Oh, I've learned so many because that's literally, that's literally high school. You learn lessons every time. But I say the biggest lesson I've learned, which is like something everyone always says, is don't take anything for granted. Enjoy. Make the most out of it because literally it goes by so fast. I remember my first day walking in. My sister wrote me a letter. She was like, it's going to go by fast. You got it. You know, you're a big girl now. And I was like, okay, whatever. But no, I am. <laughs> you know, it's a big transition and like just make the most out of it because in the end, you're going to be like, wow, I did that. <laughs> Just be open to new things, new friends, because you're going to meet a lot of new people. And you might not end up with the same friends that you came in with, but you're going to make a lot of really good new friends. Don't be afraid to ask questions. It's something a lot of people struggle with, but you'll find that things are so much easier when you just ask. Like I took college comp last year. It was basically a college course through trying. I asked a lot of questions, I ended up passing it with an A. And it was a college course, so ask questions. Something I'd like to tell the current freshmen that I'm coming up next year, it would be to, like I said earlier, get involved. Maybe at first it will be a little hard to get involved, but when you do, you're gonna, you're gonna know that it feels good to get involved. In, not only the community, but in school, friends, teachers, everything. Just be nice to everyone. Don't forget to do your homework, because most of the grades are gonna be from homework and tests. Study for your test, do your homework. Study for the state testing, say all of that is really important. And yeah, just be, like, let yourself out there. Don't be scared. Like with their GPA, like how you said, um, it really, Freshman year matters because that's like your base. You do well freshman year and then you'll keep it up throughout till your senior year. And I learned that too. But if you do poorly your freshman year, it's really hard to get it up. So you need to stay strong through your freshman year. So then you can gain on to that. Okay, well some advice I would give is just be smart, but, but what I mean by be smart is not like getting A pluses in every test because I didn't do that. You know, you just have to make smart choices inside of school and outside of school and hang out with the right people because sometimes that can affect a person. But I'd say just get involved too, join clubs because that helps so much. You know, because sometimes people are so scared to get out of their comfort zone, but getting out of your comfort zone can be a really good thing and like see what's ahead of you and help you realize what you want to do. Because in the end, you'll realize, okay, I'm preparing myself for what I want to do in the future, you know, so. I'd say get involved, like get involved with sports and clubs because we have a lot of things to get involved with. And it's really cool to be like a part of things and that's one of the biggest things I think to do what like the most you can and don't wait until last second to turn in assignments because the workload's a little more here than it was in middle school but if you keep up with turning things in you're gonna be fine this might be controversial to some people but there's different diplomas you can get like the core 40 the academic honors and technical honors it's so much easier just to do core 40 and then once you're an upper, upperclassman, if you're planning to go to college, take college courses through those years and the other classes won't be as difficult. Because if you have all honors, you're gonna be stressed. I know people that have all honors and it's a, a lot more work, especially if you're in sports. So just take the regular classes except for what you are gonna specialize in and take the college courses for that. And to add on to that, if you are going to college, you should take the college effective speaking class. All this is speeches. And if you take it here, you don't have to do it in college. And doing it here is a lot easier than doing it in college. I have that one third try. 
for this year. So 